That awesome bass solo is by the late great Cliff Burton. Cliff Burton was the best bass player that ever lived. <laughs> well, I mean, in my opinion, and a lot of other Metallica fans' opinions. Uh, fortunately, he passed away in a tragic accident uh, some time ago. I want to say it was 1986. Yeah. He was 23, so his, uh, of course I bring it up because his, his birthday actually passed, so, yeah. R.I.P. Cliff Burton. So, anyways, I wanted to, I wanted to do some kind of, like, update here, like, uh, Postmates-wise. A lot of stuff has changed since the last time I talked about it. At least here in my city in El Paso, El Paso, Texas. And it's a lot more active now. Um, a lot more, I'd say, sporadic in some areas. And <laughs> But yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more, uh, a lot more people driving for Postmates. I'm not, uh, I have no idea how many, but... If you're watching this and you drive for Postmates, let me know. Leave me just leave me a comment saying, you know, hey, I drive for Postmates too in El Paso or you know in the El Paso, Texas area. So yeah, just let me know because I'm interested in, in just having like some I don't know. I figure maybe if I have some kind of ballpark number, that'll kind of like help me. As far as figuring out like what are the best times to deliver and all that, but I don't know. That's just a theory I have. <laughs> but uh, again, definitely let me know if you if you drive for Postmates in El Paso, Texas. So yeah, there are also if you know if you let me know if you're driving for other other companies like uh, DoorDash or Grubhub uh, or Favor. Uh, I've been doing uh, a lot of research into those other ones, DoorDash, Grubhub, Favor, and, uh, honestly, I'm sticking with Postmates because I like that I can just sign, I can just work whenever I want to, I don't have to stick to a certain kind of schedule, uh, last time I checked, I know that Grubhub, DoorDash, I think Favor too, they assign you a certain block of time. And you have to start exactly when when your designated block of time starts, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you drive for you know DoorDash, Grubhub, Favor. You know, so just so I I can know about what's the deal with that whole block thing. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyways. One big thing that happened recently, well, actually, a couple of things recently happened with Postmates. Uh, one thing that happened a while ago was that they changed the rating system. They no longer have a rating system, which is great because now it means that uh, you, as a driver, you no longer have to worry about if a customer, if a pissed off customer, you know, if for whatever reason, they're going to give you a low rating, you know, or like say if a customer doesn't like their food, <laughs> they end up giving you, the delivery driver, a low rating because they don't like the food, you know. So I think that like before with the, with the rating system, there might have been a handful of customers that gave me a low rating because they didn't like their food or I don't know, or they they thought that uh, the presentation was going to be a lot more spectacular or something. <laughs> and, but, uh, so yeah, there's no more rating system, so it's not going to affect, you know, uh, driver's ability to, to perform, to do their job, to just, which is just deliver food and other stuff. Because with Postmates, you can have other stuff delivered too, like something from Walgreens or Walmart, or you can also have alcohol delivered. <laughs> of course, there is a process in which, you know, as a driver, you have to 
through the app, you have to scan their ID, make sure they're of legal drinking age. So obviously that's, it only makes sense. Uh, so, and then the second thing, the most recent thing, which I think happened a couple of days ago, a Postmates partnered with Chipotle. That's right, with Chipotle. Uh, so what that means is that now as a driver, uh, for all drivers who drive for Postmates, uh, before they had it to where, you know, when you go pick up an order at Chipotle, you still have to pay for it with this, like, commercial prepaid credit card slash debit card. I think it's credit, though. Uh, uh, that commercial credit card thing, Postmates thing. and um, I'll explain w exactly what that is in a separate video. I mean, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but essentially, before, it took a little longer to go pick up a Chipotle order because you still, as a driver, still had to actually finalize the payment so uh and now that no longer applies now because postmates has partnered with chipotle i guess now all orders are now prepaid so it eliminates eliminates a step so which again is great it's awesome because don't have to wait too long don't have to take up too much time in order to pick up that order. So, uh, in fact, tonight I, I, I started out, um, there's some dog outside. Probably can't see him. It's like a black dog. I, a lot of my neighbors, they, their dogs are always like getting out and wandering around. And, and But anyways, what was I saying? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, so uh, tonight I, I delivered a Chipotle order. I went there, I just gave them the name of the customer, and it was all ready. It was there, it was ready, it was paid for, they gave it to me, and that was that. So, it was pretty cool, pretty awesome, I think. And it's, uh, So, yeah, that's great. I mean, you know... Uh, I, I really, I, I see no, absolutely no problem with that. Postmates partnering with Chipotle. Uh, I hope later on they end up partnering with other companies, other chains, fast food chains or something like that. Um, Cause it'll really help out us drivers. You know, it'll help us to deliver the food, deliver customers orders a lot faster. So, and a lot a much more efficient manner. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, all right. So that's, I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, I'm also going to be working on another video in which I give some tips for Postmates drivers, mostly for beginners. Uh, be on the lookout for that. If you're interested in that, uh, of course, there'll be tips from my own experience driving for Postmates. So they may or may not apply to everyone. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like they could apply to almost everyone. Almost everyone, not everyone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that'll do it for this. Again, let me know hey, if you drive for Postmates in El Paso, Texas, or any other company you know doordash grubhub favor you know or if there's any others that i haven't heard about yet i know there's another one called like caviar but it's not here it's not available here in el paso yet so yeah that'll do it thanks for watching this thanks for listening as always next time for you keep it real keep on rocking and uh peace uh. metallica <laughs>